the Mets game five of the World Series at City Field. And no, this is not Halloween hangover. It's dark night time, baby. Matt Harvey on the hill for the Mets. His opposition, Edinson Volk, has pitching with a heavy heart just days after the passing of his father. Curtis Granderson gets the Mets off to a great start. He leads off the bottom of the first. That's in the air. mistakes. 0-2, ball right down the middle, and he jumped it. Matt Harvey saw the numbers, 2-0, 3.38 ERA this postseason. And now two out as Harvey, who did go through Tommy John, has struck out four on the night. 0-2 delivery, swing and a miss, he got him! Matt Harvey yelps as he goes off the mound. In the bottom of the fourth inning, we've only seen one run, and that was Curtis Granderson's leadoff home run in the first inning on an 0-2 pitch. And the pitch, swing and a miss. And again, it was a changeup that was riding in on right. Volquez with the high set and the 1-0 pitch. Swinging a ground ball to Moustakas again. He's got it to second one. Zobris to first in time. And Volquez gets another double play. So, bases loaded, one out. Another double play candidate, Lucas Duda. A 1-1. In the air to center. Back is King. Tagging is Granderson. And the lead is doubled. It's 2-0. It would still be a victory, a small one, but a victory for Volquez if he can get Darno and keep this a one-run inning. Here's the 1-1. Murphy runs, and there's a ground ball left side. Moustakis gets a big hop. He will throw, and that is in time. So the Mets are happy they get a run. The Royals are satisfied because the Mets had the bases loaded with nobody out, and they get one. I tell you, Joe, this reminds you of Madison Bumgarner from last year, the dominance of this game from Matt Harvey. It's one of the best pitch games I've seen all season. In the air to center. Right there, Lagares. How about Matt Harvey? Through eight. And here we go in the dugout after the top of this inning. This began with a long conversation between Dan Worth and the pitching coach. And Terry Collins, worth it delivering the bad news. And, oh, I'm going to go talk to the boss about this. No way. No way are you taking me out of this game. Now you can see him spread out there to the mound. See if he can settle himself. But he's three and two with Kane. In comes the pitch. Ball four. Lead off walk. The Royals will never yield. They will never quit. One strike on Hosmer. Fly ball left field, pretty well struck. And it's going to be over the head of Conforto. He'll play it off the fence. Kane will score, and Hosmer is at second base. Well, there you are. Lead off walk immediately turns into a run. And that's it for Matt Harvey. Familia will take over. Harvey knocked out in the ninth inning in game five. Tying run at third. One out, ninth inning. In comes the pitch. Broken bat, one hopper to third. And over to first in time. Runner going to try to score. Wild throw. Hosmer gambling that he could dash home on the throw to first base. And the Royals have tied the game. Salvi is 0 for 4 with an RBI. A swing and a fly ball up the right field line. That is fair. And it kicks off the side wall. Granderson got to it very quickly. And Salvador Perez is on with a leadoff single. And now Gerard Dyson is going to come out and run for him. And if you're wondering about Christian Colon this postseason, he has not appeared. And another 1-2. Swing and a line drive, base hit left field. Christian Colon has driven in Gerard Dyson and the Royals lead 3-2.
in the 12th inning. And now with two on, one out, the batter is Escobar. That is a fair ball down the line. One run scores. That's Cologne. Holding it third, Orlando. And it's 4 2 Kansas City in the 12th. And now Wade Davis, while it won't be a save, has a chance to slam the door on the Mets and the World Series. Davis comes to the plate. Strike three call. It's over. They've done it. The Royals are World Series champions. The world champion Kansas City Royals. It's been 30 years. Royals fans, let's get the party started. Wow. For the Kansas City Royals, it's their first world title since 1985. Salvador Perez is your World Series MVP, becoming the first catcher to win the award since Toronto's Pat Borders in 1992. The Royals trailed in every game of the series, but outscored the Mets 15 to one from the eighth inning on. Christian Colon now has two career postseason hits, both of which were pinch hit singles in the 12th inning to either tie the game or put KC on top. Alcides Escobar's 23 hits are the most in a single postseason by a shortstop breaking the mark of 22 set by Derek Jeter, which he did three separate times. For further analysis of game five of the World Series, here's MLB.com's Tim McMaster and Jack Morris. Through eight innings, it looked like the Mets were going to send this series back to Kansas City in a game six, but the decision to bring Matt Harvey back out in the ninth, the decision he wanted, backfires for the Mets. Yeah, it, it was really sad because Matt Harvey pitched his heart out. He did everything he could do to get this team to the next game. And, you know, his manager, Terry Collins, really believed in him. He, well, he admitted, his gut said, no, you're done. But he went with his heart and, and Matt Harvey talked him into it. I congratulate both of them for doing that, quite honestly. I think he deserved the chance. Uh, unfortunately, Terry didn't have the, t the heart to go out there after he walked the leadoff man. And that's the cardinal sin in baseball. You cannot put the, you know, leadoff man on late in the game. And, and Harvey did that. Uh, but the older I get in this game, the more I understand the game, the more I understand the dynamics that managers know more than we as broadcasters know. And Terry Collins ultimately had to make a decision. He went with the right guy, I think. Familia has pitched his heart out also. He's been used extensively through this postseason, and he was put in a tough spot.